Hi, Chamber members. I am Holly Allen, Director of Marketing and Communications here at the Dayton Area Chamber of Commerce. And I am joined today by Christina Lund. She is the President and CEO of AES Ohio, formerly known as Dayton Power and Light. As you know, they went through a rebrand and we're gonna talk about the new name, the new branding, what this means and welcoming Christina to the Dayton area. So Christina, thanks so much for your time today and joining us. Thanks, Holly. We really appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. So we'll just dive right in. Uh, we talked about, I just talked about the, the new name, the rebranding. Dayton Power and Light is now known as AES Ohio. Can you tell me why the rebrand happened? Maybe why that name AES Ohio was chosen? Yes. So we are at a really exciting moment in our industry. Technology and innovation are changing an industry that has a very, very rich tradition of customer service and Dayton Power and Light Company has been reliably serving our customers in the Dayton region for more than a century. And so what the new brand signifies is this history of customer service paired with tools and expertise and innovation that will enable us to better serve our customers right here in Ohio. And so AES is actually a global company and we have a very long history of innovation. In fact, we're a leader in renewables, we're a leader in battery energy storage, and we're a leader in digital technologies. And so the name AES Ohio means that we are going to apply all of this technology and innovation right here for our customers in Ohio. Sounds like a great opportunity for customers. And Christina, you know, people who have lived in the Dayton area forever, um, they know and love the name Dayton Power and Light and that brand. Um, and they wanna make sure that, that that partnership and relationship continues. Of course, we as the Chamber of Commerce, we represent businesses. So can you tell me what this rebrand and name change means for the business community in particular? Absolutely. So we are really committed to using changing technology and innovation to better serve our customers' needs. And so as I think about the business community, businesses have their own unique needs. Some are very focused on cost savings and others may be very focused on sustainability. And because of the changes in technology, we expect to develop new solutions to help meet our customers' most important needs and most important goals. And so businesses should expect more control over their energy usage. They should expect insights from us that will be enabled by technology. And we think that this will actually help businesses to do better and ultimately grow the economy in the Dayton region and hopefully create more jobs. Absolutely. Well, and we've seen AES investing in the Dayton area. So we know this is a priority for you. How about on the residential side, Christina, how will um, residential customers benefit from this change? So residential customers will uh, see over time that we are deploying new technologies in the form of smart meters and smart grid. And so this will enable better engagement with AES Ohio. And again, we are looking to create some new services and new tools to help our residential customers achieve their most important goals. We always like new tools. <laughs> <And> it, <laughs> Absolutely. Control of, of the energy that we use in the home. So I appreciate that. Um, Christina, what are you hearing from customers? So you launched, it was February 24th that you launched the new name and brand. Have you gotten some feedback? What are you hearing? So we are hearing a lot of excitement about the brand and where we are headed. And in fact, the process that we used to develop the brand took many, many months, in fact, a couple of years, and it involved a lot of input from our key customers and community leaders and other stakeholders. And so it was developed with input in mind, and therefore I think it really speaks to our customers and communities. I do think people also really understand that AES Ohio is committed to the region and is going to continue investing. And so the brand um, dovetails perfectly with what we're doing with the AES Smart, Smart Operations Center, which is we are locating in Dayton a new center of digital innovation and expertise that will help AES drive better performance across our assets throughout the United States and internationally. And again, this is really the digital technology that's driving the opportunity and it's Dayton's rich history of innovation that made us choose Dayton for this investment. And so it's really 
the brand, plus this investment in the AES Smart Operations Center. These go to together very well. And we think that our customers understand that this is an exciting moment for us. But it is very important that our customers understand that we are the same company, the same team, and they can continue to rely on us for safe, reliable, and affordable energy, just as they have for the past 100 years. But what this means is that there's going to be better tools in the future. Absolutely. And I don't think, Christina, that you can um, overstate that investment in Dayton with, with that smart operations center, because that really was, a, it, it is, because it's not open yet, right? This really is a huge move for AES to invest in Dayton. And it was such a great opportunity for us um, to have that investment right here in our backyard. So we're excited about that too. Yes, and we are as well. It really does um, just, it's the perfect location for this kind of investment because Dayton is a natural center for innovation. We're co-locating with fantastic colleges and universities. Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is of course doing a lot on the innovation side. And so this just really felt like the great, perfect location for us to locate this center. So we're very, very happy about it. It's on track and we're expecting it to open later this year. Of course, we are very, very serious about safety. And so we'll plan it of course around what's safe from a pandemic perspective, but we're, we're really looking forward to showing people uh, the, the really fantastic center once it's open. Absolutely. Well, we're excited to be a part of it and, and we appreciate the investment. Um, speaking of, we as a Chamber of Commerce are really working to um, introduce you, Christina, to our community um, in your role. Uh, how long have you been President and CEO of AES Ohio? So I joined um, the, I've been with AES for a long time, almost 15 years, but I joined our utilities in October of 2020. So just a, several months ago, but already, um, you know, I'm just really excited about what we're doing. It's a great moment for the business, a great moment for us to be better serving our customers. And it's just really neat to be a part of this transition that we're making of this, from this history of rich um, customer service to the innovation that will be powered by new technologies. Right, absolutely. Well, if, for anyone who's watching, if you wanna to get to know Christina a little better, um, stay tuned because we are working on an event where you will be speaking to our chamber members uh, probably this summer. So stay tuned for that. Registrations will be open soon. Um, Christina, I, I do wanna mention before we go, if people want some more information to go to aesohio.com slash hello future. That's right. It's aes-ohio.com slash hello future. Yep. Don't forget the dash. That's right. That's right. Thank you for correcting me there. Um, Christina, is there anything that you wanted to add? Anything that I missed asking you about with, through all this change you're going through? No, again, I think, you know, what our customers and communities should look for is the same company, same team, same high quality service. But again, we're moving fast into the future and we're really looking forward to how this is going to benefit our customers and the Dayton region at large. Absolutely, well, congratulations. Um, we're excited for you and we're excited for Dayton and our customers and our business members, of course. And again, that website is aes-ohio.com slash hello future. And we'll have that on the screen here. Um, and stay tuned, DaytonChamber.org is where you can find more information about the Chamber and that upcoming event that we teased ahead to where um, Ms. Christina Lund will be our speaker. So thank you for watching um, and feel free to reach out to us on all of our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube. I'm sure I'm missing some um, and we will be in touch with you there. Thank you, Holly. Much appreciated. Looking forward to all that we're going to do together and thanks for everything you do for the Chamber members. Thank you, Christina.